Yo, what's up, guys? Your boy Steve from Triff Gaming. We got a sick video for you today, man. Sick video. Yo, cousin, what? That's my cousin back there. Yo, cousin, what do you think of the video? Oh, it's gonna be sick, Steven. Yeah, damn right it is. It is. Flower Cardians in action. Flower Cardians. They're a better deck than you guys think. My boy Hanko Chow got a deck profile for you guys. One of my patrons uh, requested it. So, is it for you, man? It's for you. This video is for you. If you guys want any. If you guys want any. Uh, welcome to Trip's room, by the way. Anyway, uh, probably best room in the planet, as well as this. Shout out to Trip Fitness. Subscribe to my new fitness channel as well if you haven't already. Trip Fitness, we're gonna get shredded. So will you if you watch. Anyways, also if you guys want any single uh, video on any deck, let me know on Patreon. If you guys pledge, I make any deck you guys want sick, even if it's uh, ice barriers, even flower cardings. As you guys are about to see, I this deck was so hard to make good, man, that I had to en enlist for help. I had to enlist for help. So Hanko, my boy, is helping us out with the video. Deck profile right now. Let's go. Yo, Hanko. Yeah. Yo, what deck in your profile for us today, bro? Uh, Steven wanted me to showcase a, Cardi a Flower Cardian deck profile and explain to people like how this deck works and like what it does. And so I, I have this deck like hanging around with me. I, I play this like deck online a lot because it's really funny. But I, I usually don't play this deck in real life too much, but when I do, it is also very funny. But like, it's much, uh, <laughs> it, it's very, uh, everyone will have to read the cards all the time. And it's always like kind of funny, I guess. Bro, Flower, I see you play Hit the Tourney today, bro. Flower Cardians are actually insane. Yeah, yeah. Yo, this whole video, shout out to Brandon Andrew Pike, bro. This video is for you, man. Uh, you wanted me to do Flower Cardians? Uh, bro, I couldn't make it broken enough, bro. But this guy right here, there's no one in Toronto I can think of. That has the brains, the knowledge, oh and the creativity as I do. Creativity. Then Hanko Danko Chow. Fucking, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's gonna show us the most amazing profile and combos. combos? So let's get right to the profile. Uh, oh yeah. Is, oh yeah. This is a little combo, I guess. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Let's go straight to the profile. Alright, so uh, these are Flower Cardian monsters. I'm gonna explain the, the first four basic ones uh, Flower Cardian Willow, Flower Cardian Pine. Our Cardian uh, Zebra Grass and Flower Cardian, what is this guy called? Polowinia. This one's is my by far the worst one of them all. But uh, these four together are very special because you usually uh, summon them off of this one spell card called Flower Gathering. They're the only four cards that you can summon off of this spell card. So that's why I want to talk about them first. They're this card, Flower Cardian Pine. He is the normal summon of the deck. You normal summon him. Each of them on summon usually draws you a card. Uh, except for this one, this card is really bad. Uh, but anyway, uh, this card, so yeah, he, when you normal summon, you draw a card. If it's a flower card, you keep it. And if this card is destroyed by battle by card effect and sent to your graveyard, uh, you draw a card. So like, uh, this card is a normal summon. After that, it's it's a, it's one of the worst cards in the deck. Uh, this card is by far my favorite card in the deck, Flower Cardian Willow. Uh, you can. Uh, this one, this one, and this one, these three, they all have a summoning condition where you can only activate from your hand the special summon if you control a, a certain level or lower Cardian monster. So this is level 11, 10, and 7 or lower. And this one is my favorite one because while it's on the board, once per turn, sh a target of Flower Cardian Graveyard, shuffle it and draw a card. Then you don't have to do anything with that card, you just draw it. Uh, Zebra Grass is like, is all right. I play at three because he's like, he's pretty cool. Uh, when you summon him, you get to uh, magical mallet all your cardians back in your like a number of cardians in your hand back to the deck and draw the same number. So he helps you like maybe draw spell cards. And then this card is the worst one. You summon him just because you can. And then uh, if your opponent attacks it for some reason without reading the card, then you draw a card and end the battle phase. But this card's terrible. <laughs> but you play it because it's a name. Uh, anyway, these are the first four. Uh, next, we talk about uh, this one. Uh, three Flower Cardian, Cherry Blossom with Curtain. Uh, he is another card that helps you get uh, get your foot off the ground. Because like the problem with Cardians is that, see the three cards I talked about? They need to have another Cardian on the board to summon themselves. So this is a normal summon, and this one is, uh, you can, it, it doesn't need another Cardian on the board to summon itself, but you, have, you reveal it from your hand, the special summon, uh, you draw a card, if it's a Cardian monster, you keep it and summon this card, if it's not, this card goes to the grave along with the card, so it's high risk, high reward, it's 2k attack though, so you, it does put a lot of damage, and while it's in your hand, it's a Kalu, so like, if, if you're a Cardian monster battles another monster, you pitch it from your hand and it gains a thousand attack, so it's, it, it helps you put damage. And it helps you obviously put presence on the board by if you summon are able to summon it. So it's pretty good. Uh, next we got these two. 
uh, flower cardian maple with deer and flower cardian uh, clover with boar. This one, they're both the, uh, very similar except they're different levels. One's seven and one's like 11 or something. And, or 10, I don't remember. Uh, but anyway, they're both very similar. You have to tribute another cardian on the board with a different name, I believe. Yeah, with a different name than, than the one. So you can't tribute boar for boar, you can't tribute deer for deer. But uh, you tribute to special summon them. This They don't reveal, they don't start a chain to special summon. It's like a, it's like a cyber dragon kind of thing. Uh, and when, if this card is special summon, you activate and you draw a card. And if, if it's a cardian monster, you keep it and you pop a monster with this one and you pop a spell and a trap card with this one. They're non-targetable removal, so it's really nice. The deck actually has removal. And they're kind of searchable too, so it helps you when, when you're going second and stuff. But you don't want to play three because they're the ones that you have to tribute to special summon. So drawing multiples can be too cloggy. So yeah, they're, they're, like, they're very important though because they're cloud, uh, flower cardians. Uh, then we play three of this one as well as two of this one. These are the tuners of the deck. They help you, uh, they, they help you actually make power plays. Or else you're just drawing cards for no reason. And so this one, you can tribute any flower cardian except for itself to summon it. And if you, you on summon, you draw a card. If it's a flower card, you keep it and you get the spiral gear drone. This was the original spiral gear drone. You, you look at the top three cards of your opponent's deck and stack it. Uh, in any order on the top or leave and or move it all to the bottom so like he's he helps you you give your opponent a neg one essentially like you give him a dead card and it's like wow it's pretty good uh anyway uh so these are both tuners and when you synchro with them you, you make itself as well as the other non-tuner cards that you synchro with level two so that uh, that makes it so that you can make a uh, level six eight and ten synchros really easily uh, anyways, uh, this one is also the second tuner, but he's called Flower Cardian Willow of Calligrapher, which means that you can only summon him by sacrificing uh, Flower Cardian Willow because it is the calligraphy version of it. Uh, so that, uh, you, only, you can only summon him properly by sacrificing this card, but you can, there's also ways to summon them like, like non-properly by using the ignore summoning condition cards. But anyway, um, there are three other kinds of Cardian cards in the game, but I don't play either, like all of them, because like they're all very suboptimal, I think. Uh, they could be really good because they're all beat sticks, but I choose not to play them because they're not important. Anyways, uh, let's just move on to the spells. We got one reinforcement of the army because that card searches for Pine or this card. No, bro, one quick thing before we get into the spells. Sure, sure. Uh, some people might not know what Flower Cardians do. Like, they don't put up like 50 million in gates of pendulums do or whatever. They don't put up a U-Link. Yep. Uh, what, what's, just quickly, just for the viewers, what's the strategy of the deck? The deck strategy is to draw a lot of cards. And then the, the boss monsters of the deck, let's just get into the extra deck then real quick. Uh, these are the boss monsters of the deck. The biggest card you have is Flower Cardian Light Flare. Uh, I play, you just max out on all of them. At the moment, I only have two right now with me, but like, this card, uh, he is a six samurai Shien. Once you return spell trap negation, uh, if any of your flower carding monsters battle an opponent monster, their effects are negated. So cards like Borolo Dragon, Utopia Lightning don't work. Um, and if this card is destroyed by battle, or let me just read it. Uh, if this card is, is if this face up synchro summon card is destroyed by battle or leaves the field because of, of an opponent's card effect while it's in it, while its owner controls it, you can special summon one flower card in synchro monster from your extra deck except for itself. So while he dies, you summon out this guy, usually. Uh, this card is flower card in light, light flare, the second boss monster to deck. This card's level 10, this card's level 8. So it takes five monsters to make it, this card takes four monsters to make it. This, it's like super easy to make the monsters, right? Yeah, that, as long as you get the tuner and yeah. cards on the board, yeah, of course. Awesome. Um, Let's see, this one, uh, while he's on the board, he makes all your flower cardians, including itself, untargetable and undestructible by card effects. So that's really amazing. Of course, in 3k stats, 5k stats, it's already really good. Um, and during your opponent's draw phase, it'll activate and burn your opponent for 15. So that is one of the strategies of this deck. It's very sad on how this deck plays now, but one of the strategies is turboing out a, like a lot of cards and then eventually getting enough resources to summon one or two of these but obviously you're like Hanko this is link format master rule four how do we summon multiple synchro monsters on the board well uh, technically I do play a link monster but there's a lot of cards in this deck that prevent you from summoning non flower cardian monsters so it's actually very hard to summon this card except by like super koi koi so uh, I do play it because it does only take two warriors and points down whatever but 
to be honest, there's actually like a very unique strategy to this deck that helps you get out two of uh, these kind of cards onto the board. With one on, in the extra monster zone and one being in the main monster zone. And then I play this for a ghost reaper, I don't know. Uh, this card is a kind of a boss monster. He's uh, you summon him, and he makes he while he's on the board, he makes all your flower cardy monsters pierce, which is really big damage. <laughs> Uh, and as well as uh, once per turn, remove from play a flower carding monster in your graveyard and until the end of your opponent's turn, your opponent cannot activate cards in, or effects in the graveyard or especially some monsters in the graveyard. So it's a mini necro value. It's really nice against like Infernoids or certain matchups. And this card is the main turbo card in the deck. This card should have came out a lot earlier in Master Rule 3. Before Link Busters came out, I was playing this deck with a passion, man. I was playing this deck with, like so much and then they never gave us this card until Link Monsters came out, which is sad. <laughs> Very sad. Anyway, this card is Formula Synchro, except that you don't Synchro Summon during your opponent's turn, you just draw cards. You summon this card, like all of them, like, and you recycle it, and you summon them again, you just draw a lot of cards. This one is the card that says, draw one card, if it's a Flower Cardian, you can summon it, ignoring summoning conditions, and, or, and you just skip your next draw phase, as well as it being a tuner. So like, the, the best part about this is it says draw one card. That's the, you don't have to like discard or anything, you just draw it. So this is like my favorite card in the deck. But yes, the strategy of this deck is to try and end up with multiple of these cards. Anyway, let's just go back to spell line so yeah, I can explain yeah. the deck strategy again. Yeah, proper, proper, proper. Yeah, yeah. So this is Rhoda. It searches yeah. for the pine or the, the curtain thing. Yeah. Um, it's important to have intro cards. Only two Super Koi Koi and only two Flower Gathering. I was playing like three in one or like three of each or everything because that, that's what the deck struggles with is like getting your feet onto the ground, like getting monsters on the board. If you don't get a single Flower Cardi on the board, the deck has all these cards that say, hey, I need another Flower Cardi to summon them. But that's the point. If you don't, if you aren't able to put even a single one on the board, the deck bricks and you just lose. So. You could say it's, it's arguable that I should be playing three of each, but the point, the, the reason why I'm only playing two of each is because it's important to see them, but it's also important to not see the other copy of it. Because once you're in like the mid combo, Ooh, yeah. you're, you're, you're drawing like another copy, and you're like, man, this is just another blank card. And are they could once be, per turn? Yes, hard, these two are hard once per turn to activate. Mm, so, so that's, that's yeah, that's why. So it, it's it's good to see them, but it's yeah. also terrible to see multiples. Anyway, this card has a grave effect. Um, it, while it's in the graveyard, you can banish it to tribute a flower card and you control to summon a cardian in, in your hand ignoring summoning conditions. So that's kind of helpful at solving the problems on your board. As well as, uh, so this one summons the four floor flower cardians. This one, you activate it, you excavate the top three cards, and you summon any flower cardian among them. And their effects are negated and they're level two, so that's, it's a weird card to get field presence on. But uh, what's it called? Uh, this one just summons any flower cardian, so it's pretty good. Uh, let's see, those are the good cards. Uh, only two alert artness. I only have two on me at the moment. I probably should be playing three. Oh, ulties. Hey, 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 hey. I, I want, I, there's stories to each of these, but we'll get to that another day. Uh, anyway, I should be playing three probably, but at the same time, it's like, it worked out for it. Like, it's, like, you can play two or three. It's just that, like I said, you, you, you want to try and draw flower cardians sometimes. But uh, at the same time, this card's a filler card, so I probably should be playing three. I just have only two on me. Uh, anyways, this card, flower stacking. Uh, this card lets you search your deck, essentially. It's like a rota for the deck. It's weird, but yeah, you choose three ca uh, cardians with different names. You stack, you put them to the top of your deck in any order. So then you start the chain, like you like, oh look, a reveal the special summon draw. Oh look, it's the cardian I wanted. Summon it. Oh, it's the other cardian that I wanted. It helps you set up like combos and searches your tuner, helps you break boards and whatnot by searching the cards that break boards. So yeah, and it also has a grave effect during the next turn, except it was except the turn it was sent there, you banish from your graveyard to add a cardian from your grave back to your hand. So it, it's your follow up. So if there is a follow-up. Uh, anyways, this is Recardination. My, this is by far like one of my favorite spell cards in this deck. Uh, its simple effect is that you target a Cardian in your graveyard, add it to your hand, and you can summon another Cardian or the same one. You can summon a Cardian monster in your hand, ignoring summoning conditions. So that's cool, but it's it's the most amazing effect is that if, you, if you're using the Flower Cardian monster effects to draw a card, and if it's not a Flower Cardian, you discard it, or not discard it, it's just it's sent to the graveyard. So this card, if this card is sent to the graveyard by a Flower Cardian monster effect, it activates in the grave, and you excavate the top five cards of the deck, add a spell or trap card among them, and then re uh, rearrange the order of the rest of them. So this card helps you search for the green cards, and the green cards are much better than the yeah. monsters. So yeah. And that, that effect will resolve a lot, because pretty much all the Flower Cardians make it do that. So if you happen to draw it, it'll pretty much go in the grave. Exactly, yeah, yeah. So this card's, I'd rather mill this card than, than have this card in my hand usually. Yeah, because this card helps you search for the best cards in your deck. These are the best cards in your deck. Uh, well, let's just say Soul Charge is the best card in this deck. 
Uh, and then these are like mini soul charges. Desynchro. Mm. I talked about this on the first video I played with uh, when I was on Sam's channel and whatnot. But this card is still my favorite card in this deck because the, the whole point of this deck is to special summon the flower cardians and then get rid of them and then summon them again. That way, you, these are the only ways that you are able to plus um, a lot. So my favorite combo with this card is to try and set up, um, what's it called? Uh, try and set up two willows as well as the, uh, as well as this card, Moonflower. You, you synchro into this card and then you use this card and these two to summon another one. So you draw a card and then you desynchro this. Summon back the three cards and you draw, draw, draw. You, you just plus a lot and you, you're able to fix your hand and, yeah. and like go off. And you'll yeah. draw probably another one of this and yeah. you'll just go off again. Yeah. So yeah, that's one of the plays as well as as well as this Monster Reborn. It's it's legal, so like why not, right? This could have been the third alert of darkness, but I don't know. This is 41, so like this this deck is definitely not perfect, but the strategy is here. Like this deck is could be viable, but I don't know. The, the, who knows? Anyway, uh, so what what you're trying to do in this deck is to not only turbo out, like just to like try and face your hand and draw these power cards, like these five, I guess Monster Reborn's a power card, but like it's as good as a recarnation essentially. But uh, what you're trying to do is synchro into one or two of these and then use them for a synchro so they go to the grave and then try and draw this one card and then, <laughs> and then put them back onto the board or this card. So like it's a really, Terrible and mediocre strategy, but bro, it, it works, man. I've seen you clip people today, bro. This guy would just summon, 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 draw, 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 draw. It's nonstop. Yeah, like, it's like, all, like I'm not slow playing. Game. I'm yeah. playing for 25 minutes, and I am playing at an acceptable game state yeah. pace. I was definitely not slow playing. Promise. <laughs> and like, if you're going to a big, like, I would not play this deck at a locals because it would just make ruin people's day. They'd be looking at me and be like, "Man, I've only I drew Droll and Lockbird," <laughs> but they didn't, and that's why I don't play this deck. It's just like people, a Droll and Lockbird is really popular. If Droll and Lockbird was not popular, I would go to a major tournament with this and ruin people's days. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, as well as just like yeah, the strategy of this deck is sadly this this is a sad strategy of this deck is to play. For 30 minutes, and then summon this guy. <laughs> Burn your opponent for 15. <laughs> that is that is unfortunately the strategy. Or you break boards in OTK. But like, who knows? Bro. You can't really can't really set up. You sometimes I can set up two of these, but like it's hard. <laughs> Bro, that was sick profile, man. Flower Cardians not dead. What? Flower Cardians new meta. New meta. Who knows, man? <laughs> the, the things I see this guy do in the tourney today, bro. All I seen was million draws, million summons. Flower Cardians, bro. Hanko does it again. Yeah, if I draw the nuts, I mean, I guess I go off. Bro, you right? literally draw, draw, draw into Soul Charge. It's a weak one. I've seen it, bro. Yeah. It's amazing, bro. This whole football is for you, Brandon. Uh, thank you for the, for the pledge on Patreon, man. If you guys want a sick deck, let me know on Patreon. Let me know uh, anywhere, comments below, anywhere, guys. Thank Yeah. The final notes? Yeah. Like, there's some cards that I chose to play before, like, in, in older builds, and yeah. I chose not to play them now. Like, there was a card, like, so... What the deck struggle with, with was like putting cards onto the board, right? There was a card called uh, there's a card called Reasoning that you could play, but it's just yeah. that yeah you can put another flower card, but it only summons the famous four from the first four monsters I talked about because they are the only ones that you can summon by card effects. But like and their levels are very high and whatnot. But the sad thing about Reasoning is that you can possibly mill these power spells, so I choose not to play them because I want to see these cards, and as well as like. Because if you mill this card, and it's really sad too, you could play like Magical Stone Excavation to add this card back to your hand, I guess. But like, it's up to you guys, right? Uh, there's a lot of imagination or, and room to grow with this deck. Uh, but it's just that this is what this is what I'm here to showcase. Proper, bro, the legend himself, bro. Uh, man, shout out to my uh, lo my locals in Barry, uh, Gamers Lair, DualKingdom.ca. They, uh, they help me out every now and then. As well as everyone that supports me. Uh, like, uh, anyone who play tests with me, like Michael Walters or... Uh, I don't know. Yo, Steven, oh man, what are we? Oh, yeah, we got a cube in it. <laughs> I know. We're about a cube. But yo, that's the legend himself. Thank you so much for a profile. Later, guys. Peace. And yo, that's the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more, subscribe. Also, if you guys want to get shredded with me, my new channel is, is Trip Fitness, where we are on a mission to get shredded and help the Yu-Gi-Oh community turn from fat to shredded. So, if that interests you, subscribe. And I'm gonna show you guys how I turn from skinny to shredded. I am skinny, uh, too skinny, man. If I can become shredded, anyone can become shredded. So, go subscribe. Lastly, if you guys like the video, 
Uh, we any single deck you guys want amazing you guys pledge on patreon any deck i'll make sick for you guys i got you guys i'm gonna put my genius to the test with this one especially the the, the flower card you know it's tough man it's tough anyways oh uh, if you guys liked it subscribe see you guys in our next video peace